Hi folks, I'm John Accardo, and I just received my Siemens FS220 clamp-on flow meter system. As you might expect, there's quite a bit of hardware to sift through. So let's take a look inside the box and see what you can expect to find when you receive your system. Okay, so I've taken everything out of the box, and ultimately the exact hardware you receive will be determined by your application. So we'll look at what's in my shipment and the variations that you might expect to receive instead. Let's begin with the transmitter electronics. This is the FS220 transmitter. It's for general liquid applications on all pipe types and sizes. On the side of the enclosure, you'll find a label that defines your specific meter type and the supplied hardware. The detailed part number found here on the label identifies the complete meter configuration, including sensor information, power source, and cable lengths. The part number is very useful to have available should you ever need to call for assistance. You can also scan the QR code to access the system manuals. The FS220 transmitter is a single path system with a fixed output and communication arrangement. If we open the door, you'll see there are connections for your flow sensors, multiple output terminals, and a communication port. Every FS220 comes equipped with a current, pulse, and relay output along with Modbus communications. The single power source is selected at the time of ordering as either an AC or DC supply. Again, the system label provides information on how your transmitter is configured. The power source of the FS220 is shown on its label here as either an A for AC power or a B for DC power. Along with your transmitter, in the box you'll also find your flow sensors, mounting hardware, and cabling. Since there are a number of options for each, let's take a closer look at what they are and what you will find in your shipment. Starting with the flow sensors, the type you receive will be determined by the code in your system part number seen here. In this case, we have the code N, which translates directly as a D1 high precision sensor, or D1H. Our sensors are indeed size D1 high precisions, as you can see from their own label, but yours might be different. While the high precision sensors that we just looked at are specifically for steel pipe, if your pipe is not steel, you'll receive universal sensors appropriate for the diameter range specified in your order. For example, here is a set of C3 universal sensors that could be identified by their label. If your application operates at temperatures above 250F or 121C, you'll receive high temperature sensors as shown here. These are all metal construction and suitable for temperatures up to 450F or 230C. They are identified by part number size one through four shown on their labels, which appears on the junction box attached to the sensors. To install your sensors on the pipe, you'll receive appropriate mounting hardware. Along with my high precision sensors, I received mounting frames and a spacer bar. But for smaller pipes, you may receive mounting tracks instead. Each of these are attached to the pipe using the supplied stainless steel straps. Mounting frames utilize a spacer bar to set the appropriate distance between the flow sensors. These come in different lengths depending upon the supplied sensor size. Tracks have an integral mounting positions identified on the side of the rails. As I mentioned, my system came with size D1H high precision sensors. So I received mounting frames and a spacer bar. If you receive any size C, D, or E sensors, you'll typically receive mounting frames as well. The frames are strapped to the pipe with the stainless steel straps at the appropriate spacing that is set using the spacer bar. On the other hand, if your system came with any size A or B sensors and your pipe is five inches diameter or less, you'll receive mounting tracks for sensor installation. These are also strapped to the pipe with the supplied stainless steel straps. 
And again, if your application operates at temperatures above 250 degrees Fahrenheit, you'll receive stainless steel mounting tracks for mounting your high temperature flow sensors. In addition to the mounting hardware that we just covered, you'll find a few more items contained within the hardware kit in the accessory pack. These include a number of items for installing your sensors, including a mylar roll, known as a mounting guide, a tube of coupling compound, and an ordinary sanding block for cleaning up your pipe. If you order them, you may optionally receive a set of dry coupling pads as well. The mounting guide is a tool that's necessary if you'll be installing your sensors in direct mode, where they are on opposite sides of the pipe from each other. The use of this tool and the procedure for mounting flow sensors in direct mount is covered in separate videos. Coupling compound is a necessity for all clamp-on flow meters. It's applied to the face of the sensor that contacts the pipe, creating an op optimal path for the sonic energy to transfer into the pipe wall. Its function is similar to what medical teams use when they perform a sonogram. Alternatively, if you order dry coupling pads, you'll receive a package of 10 pads. Dry coupling pads offer an alternative method of coupling the sensors to the pipe by taking the place of the standard coupling grease. To connect your transmitter to your flow sensors, you'll receive a set of cables like these. These are standard submersible coax cables. The actual cable type and length you receive will be determined by your order. The cable is identified by the letter code in position 15 of the system part number. Along with the cables, a termination kit is supplied. The sensor end of the cable is unterminated to facilitate pulling them through conduit. The termination kit contains the necessary F-connectors, shrink sleeving, labels, and glands to complete the cable installation. So there you have it. While there seems to be a lot of variety, fundamentally, each order contains the same four components. A transmitter, flow sensors, mounting hardware, and cables. This video has introduced you to what you can expect to find in the box when you receive your FS220 flow meter system. I hope you found it useful and informative, and please be sure to check out our other videos that provide instructions for installing, programming, inputs and output connections, and evaluation of your system. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.